Hey, it's Christopher from Aqua Exposure Underwater Photography. On this installment, what I'm going to be talking about are the photos that I just took on the south coast of West New Britain, Papua New Guinea, where I'm captain and photo pro aboard the Star Dancer. This area is phenomenal. I've never seen animals quite like this before. It's every photographer's dream. So in this installment, what I'm going to be doing is not explaining every shot and the technique behind it and my creative process. I'm going to show a larger number of photos than usual and just to show you what's down there and what this amazing area has to show as far as variety of life and biodiversity. The charter starts in Rabaul, where Tverber Volcano was puffing out smoke since 1994. It's actually just calmed down quite a bit recently, but still makes an awesome photo op. These cardinal fish seem to be under pretty much every coral ledge. They come in schools of sometimes thousands, sometimes tens of thousands. Uh, these things here that look like flatworms covering the starfish, they're actually stenophores. They're closely related to comb jellies. Cool little crabs living in all sorts of things, and the gorgonians, and the anemones, porcelain crabs of all different types, including the ones like this one that lives in the sea pen. Oh, absolutely awesome halamita decorator crab. Under pretty much every cucumber, you find one of these crabs attached to the underside, including these uh, imperator shrimp. Also, you find quite a few of them, and the real similar shrimps that live on the underside of the starfish. They come in pretty much every color that a starfish will come in. Crinoid shrimp, not too uncommon, but uh, always a good find. Same thing with these squat anemone shrimp, probably counted mm, at least 200 a day. Mantis shrimp usually saw at least one or two a day on this expedition. And these mantis shrimp here, as big as your arm, just awesome. Saw blade shrimp, this is my first time ever seeing them. Great find. Wire coral shrimp, pretty common, but always cool. Uh, this is one of the smaller flatheads. And this is the eyeball of a crocodile fish flathead. Just beautiful. Eyeball and mouth of a flounder. And the eyeball of a stingray, too. Let you get nice up close and personal. Ah, oh, these sponges you see here are just amazing. They grow up to two meters tall, come in red, purple, yellow, green. Uh, clownfish guarding his eggs. Always a cool photo op. Ah, this airplane wreck. This is a pontoon plane. There are actually still bombs inside of its belly. And that's the wreck of the Atun right there. Cool little amphipods. Thousands of them on that one sponge. All this here is a cave that we take a little tour to. Just amazing. You can go up inside it. Visibility is not really good enough for uh, shooting underwater, but uh, still help me work with Snell's window there. The coral spawning. Cool little mollusk snail. Barn. Cuttlefish, lots of them. The first one was uh, the big broad club cuttlefish. Lots of these smaller guys running around too. That one looks like the portrait of Einstein, I thought. Yeah, squid as well. Ah, the kids in the canoes. That one's at Mocklin. First area we go to is Mocklin, and then this is from Lindenhaven area. Almost completely unvisited by outsiders. Diamond filefish, very rare, and uh, supposedly only in the Great Barrier Reef. Obviously not. Pulsating xenia by the fields. Oh, a little juvenile puffer. Yeah, these chromis are pretty much everywhere, so we're all different types of damselfish. Yeah, devil scorpion fish. Try to find one of these before you set your arm on it, right? Leafy scorpion fish. Cockatoo wasp fish, flapping around like a dead leaf. Ah, the Pegasus sea moth. Top find for every photographer. Thin ghost pipe fish. Yeah, a couple little seahorses floating around. Pipe horse, kind of like a seahorse and a pipe fish crossed. Ah, ornate ghost pipe fish. Yeah, tried to get a little creative, showing a little bit of motion with that one. There's a pair of ornate ghost pipe fishes. Clingfish under all the crinoids. Yeah, little juvenile emperor angelfish. Just beautiful. Hey, these little scallops live underneath uh, driftwood and stuff, and they jump around all over the place. Different types of octopus. 
squat lobster under all the chronoids. And there's another type of squat lobster. Try to do some backlighting on that one for a little creative effect. A zebra crab. Frogfish. A little tiny one in that case. Probably about the size of your pinky nail. Hey, here we go, getting a little artsy fartsy. Trying to create something cool out of just some regular old coral and starfish. Lizardfish, pretty common. Ah, cowrie is on the soft coral. Ah, these things are one of my favorites. Ah, the blue ribbon eels, all over the place. Yeah, lots of different types of flatworms and nudibranchs. That one right there is my favorite species of flatworm. Just love it. Ah, these nudibranchs here are mating. Make some nutty bronchs. And yes, I did watch. Murex snail. Saw me a clam right in front of me. Mimic octopus. Can't beat that, huh? It's unfortunate that the weather is only conducive to doing charters out here from January till March every year. If you want to jump on one of those, the window's short, but it is totally worth it. Also, here on YouTube, you'll find another video of the same area where I've shot all my videography instead of the still photographs. You can sign up for my YouTube channel at Aqua Exposure Chris Goog. And of course, my website, as always, is aquaexposure.com. Thanks, folks.